Chancellor Jeremy Hunt has appointed another follower of the globalist establishment. Yes, another anti-Brexit, pro-WEF economist is joining the Bank of England. Yes, in today's the most unsurprising news story of the day, Jeremy Hunt has appointed another Jeremy Hunt type person, this time to the Bank of England. Now, obviously, it's not shocking, but it is important to talk about these things. It's important to report these type of news stories for people to know who is in the establishment, who are our masters and our bosses, <laughs> because that's how they see themselves. They don't really see us as the bosses, even though we pay the salaries and we technically have the power to vote them out. Well, not the ones who uh, get appointed by Jeremy Hunt. We don't have the power to fire them. No, nope, we don't even have the power to hire them. Yes, Jeremy Hunt as Chancellor has decided to make another appointment, uh, this time to the Bank of England. And we're going to talk about this person. Her name is Megan Green. And we're going to give you her background, uh, or generally speaking, her point of view, her values, and what she's done until now. Because uh, she's a bit of a special person. Okay, so Jeremy Hunt has appointed Megan Green to the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of England. Now, the MPC in the, in the Bank of England is very important as a body. Now, this appointment was made a couple of days ago. Uh, as an external member of the MPC, Megan Green will be in the Bank of England. And which is, again, is a very important role. And she's an economist. She's, well, she's currently Global Chief Economist at uh, Kroll and will succeed... Uh, Say Silvana uh, Tenreiro. Um, Megan's three year term will start on the 5th of July this year, 2023. Now, she's going to be uh, replacing uh, Professor Tenreiro, and who has been on the MPC since uh, July 2017. Now, she apparently, Megan Green, has a broad understanding of financial markets internationally and significant experience of advising leaders on the potential impact of global macroeconomic developments. Okay, so that's about her. But what do we actually know about Megan Green? What sort of views does she have? What are her values, basically? Considering that her responsibility is going to be affecting the financial, uh, glo the global and domestic decisions in this country through the Bank of England, well, we did some digging, and thanks to Guido as well, we discovered some uh, tweets and social media posts, especially when it comes to Brexit. Yep, Megan Green posted this uh, uh, image and a meme, essentially, a cartoon, saying this is a good summary of what Brexit means. And as you can see, it says, having democratically voted to get rid of our paddles, uh, we can now take back control of our boats. Hmm, okay, so... She clearly doesn't like Brexit. Yeah, there's another post. 2016, she said, Another reason Brexit will not help out the UK economy. Yeah, so this was another anti-Brexit propaganda posted by someone else. And yep, she doesn't like self-determination. And of course, the opportunities that come with Brexit, global Britain, she doesn't like that. Okay. She's also, she also hangs out with the World Economic Forum guys in Davos. Yeah, she was in Davos uh, earlier this year, only a few weeks ago, a cyber risk president, uh, Jason Smolanoff, and global chief economist, Megan Green, discussed the geopolitical and economic risks from a cyber perspective as the World Economic Forum kicked off in Davos. Okay, everything makes sense now. <laughs> Why was she appointed by Jeremy Hunt? Yeah, I already gave you the examples. That's why. So these are other posts that she's made about Brexit. So she quote retweeted Robert Peston of ITV saying, but I'm sure Brexit has nothing to do with it because it's about Bank of England expecting a recession, which didn't actually happen. <laughs> um, Global Britain and all that. This was quite recent, by the way. This is in 3rd of November, 2022. Now, whatever th else you think of Brexit, Megan says, at least it brought John Burko to the global stage. How is that a good thing, Megan Green? John Burko, global stage. Do we want that? No, we do not want that. Anyway, Jeremy Hunt responded 
in his, in his statement about Megan Green's appointment saying she has a wide experience across financial markets and the real economy will bring valuable uh, new expertise to the MPC. I am delighted to appoint her to this role and look forward to seeing her contribution to policymaking in the coming years. I would also thank uh, the, the Professor Silvana Tenriero uh, for all her work since she joined the Bank of England and wish her the best in the next stage of her career. Oh, how lovely. Now, Andrew Bailey, the Governor of Bank of England, also said that I'm very pleased to be welcoming Megan Green uh, this summer. She brings significant experience from her work across financial services and academia, and we will benefit greatly from her contribution to her. Are they just saying the same thing? It's like they're copy and pasting their own messages. <laughs> and of course, pay tribute to the predecessor, blah, blah, blah. But Megan Green also said, well, I am honored. I am so honored and thrilled to have the opportunity to contribute to the policy debate at the Bank of England as an external member of the MPC. It will be a privilege and a challenge to help address some of the key monetary policy ch challenges of our time. See, these people are not really helping the theories that, uh, well, it's not even a theory. When Klaus Schwab goes on stage every now and then and says, I'm very proud that our members are basically infiltrating and joining, well, he said penetrating, he actually used the word, and um, they're going into all these governments. You're not really helping the situation. When we call you a Bond villain, Klaus Schwab, it's because of this. You keep training these people from the ground up, <laughs> and they all have the same ideas, they all have the same thoughts, they talk the same way, they walk the same way, they're literally like Daleks at this point. And we've got no power to stop them because we don't appoint these people. It's the chancellor that appoints and we don't even appoint the chancellor. We, <laughs> it's the job of the prime minister and his majesty, the king. Oh, dear God. Anyway, I'm not really promoting too much direct democracy. But at this point, we have too much indirect democracy in this country. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.